a little gurgle because I'm chewing gum. Anyway, welcome back to Modoc Roughstock. Oh my God, I've lost my fucking mind. Totally lost my mind. Why, you say? Well, because I don't fit in. I'm not fat, I'm not dumb, and I'm not happy. And if you think, if you think that you're fucking happy, you're dumb. If you think that what's going on pleases you, don't, don't contact me. Don't contact me. Let me, let me show you what's going on here. You know, they want to, they want to clean up Mineral County. And believe me, I'm the last person that's racial. In fact, I think the true natives here were the dark skinned, not the medium skinned, the dark skinned. But everything's a lie. Anyway, what the fuck am I doing here on, on YouTube? I just want to show you again what Woody has going. Check this out. Now, I like Woody. He's done nothing to me. He went off on me and I forgive him and everything. But this cannot be to code. It just can't. And he's afraid of dogs, but he got three of them from Doug Miller. Refer to my last messages. And I don't care. But have you ever heard of a con conflagration? Conflagration. It's a, it's a fire term. It's when the fire gets going so furious... The fire gets going so furious that it burns everything down. That's what's going to happen there. He's going to burn the whole town of Mina. And that will be a great day for me. All that shit I'm trying to get rid of, it's gone. It's gone. Um, I asked a woman to move on to my property. She's so distressed and so hurt and so... There's some mental issues going on, but she's always been a good person, and, and I love everybody. And I just asked her, if you have power, no. Do you have water? No. Is your septic in your camp trailer full? And she says, yeah, but it doesn't stink. Hey, I'm not going to expose her. I'm not going to show you a picture of her. The poor girl... No one else will help her. But I want to get out of here. And so I was thinking about moving Donna in. Just in her camp trailer, hooked up to the septic, so she can shower and she can have... I mean, that's more than I have right now. But, in any case, it's not really about Donna. I just... My heart has been hurting for her. She's... I don't know what's going on. There's got to be some mental issue or something. She's filthy dirty. She's... It's just a total wreck. Do I, do I get involved? Or do I just continue to follow my heart? And... Uh, bring her onto my property so she has water, septic, power. And I can get the fuck out of here. The more I look at this place, the more I hate it. No one else notices that she's struggling. Her car broke down only because she never maintained it. And everybody says, well, Donnie, you should have maintained it. If you don't have the facilities, you can't maintain it. And I'm falling into that right now. You know, let me tell you something, Modoc residents. I came up there with a clean heart. I wanted so desperately to just get on a small ranch and just retire out as an old man, you know. Ride my horses, maybe break a few horses. Not break them. I hate to use that word. Train them. 
Can you see the saddle in the back window? That's that one I bought for $600. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Dan. <laughs> I told you, I told you I could buy those saddles cheap. Now the guy wants to buy it back. It's he paid sixteen hundred, so he lost a grand. And he gave me the chaps and the pads and everything. But he, this guy, you know, some people lie about their past. I used to be this, and I used to be that, and I did this, and I did that. Well, what the fuck have you done since I've known you? Not a fucking thing. Not a fucking thing. So therefore, it's hard for me to believe whatever else you tell me you've done. Don't tell me you work for Robert Redford and Doc Roberts and, and uh, the Flying J and the Dry Creek and bullshit. What have you done in the last 25 years? Uh, you've squatted over here with no power and water. Now, let me tell you something. He's been good to me, and I like him. But I'm not sure everything's truthful. Do I have any room to brag? No. No, not a bit. But God damn it, I get up every day, and I attempt to better myself, which I tried to do when I went to the nagging woman. I tried to do that when I went to the nagging woman. I was severely beat down by not only the druggies and the fucking degenerates, but also the sheriff's department. Ken Furlong is a piece of shit. And I'd love to tell it to him right to his face. He has a horse, but he's no horseman. It's all a show. It's all a show. Anyway, I got that saddle in the back. Can you see it? I'm going to try this new saddle out tonight. But I probably won't use these pads because they've never been washed. Now, Reno gets out every day. And the fence is tight. But he's a junkyard dog. He knows how to get out. Sorry for the closeness. and I'm a, I am a poor video maker. And I know that. But... <clears throat> Look here. I'll show you what's going on there. They got five, five horses, ten goats, two pigs, six, ten, eight dogs, and their uh, horse rescue. You know what? I have a friend, a girl friend, girl friend, woman friend. She's married. There ain't nothing there. She's my friend, and. She leased her property to a horse rescue. If you ever saw the inside of a horse rescue, you'd never support it again. These people that get a hundred Mustangs, like the six over here, none of them ride. They're all got bones showing, but yet the BLM still gives them away. Let's come and check if their feet are okay. No, that shit costs money. That shit costs money. It costs money to trim feet. It costs effort. And so you get a free horse and they give you a thousand dollars. But I know the old boy at the prison that gives them away and he comes and checks on them. And he found that this one horse, its feet were so bad that he came and got it, took it back to the Fallon Ranch, the BLM Ranch, and they trimmed its feet and he brought it back. Now, if you can't trim your horse's feet, fucking don't get them. Don't get them. If you can't feed them, don't get them. You're only contributing to the fucking problem. Now, see this mutt right here? See that? See that? She looks abused, doesn't she? 
and I've whipped her ass. And I'll tell you why. I reward all behaviors. You kick me, I'm going to punch the fuck out of you. I don't care if you're a horse, a dog, a human, a woman, a man. You touch me in the wrong way, I'm going to fuck your day up. There is no equal rights. You know, these bitches that go ahead and slap a guy and you're not supposed to hit a woman and this and that. Hey, fuck that. Fuck that. You want a man up and you want to hit a man? Expect the wrath. Same as a man. You hit me. Unwarranted. Look out. Look out. We're not going there. I am not going to be abused. Male, female, horse, dog, pig, anything, anything. I'm just saying. And if you think it's easy to, to keep this horse in, <laughs> Reno, I don't want to put electric to this fence. This fence is, uh, this fence is, uh, at best, minimal. Come on, Nita. You abused mutt. Come on, Nita. You want to get out? Nita, you want to get out, you abused mutt? No, she said no. I don't want to. Look what we're dealing with. Now, those horses look abused. That filly. I can fix her. I can fix her. Look at this. She'll let me pet her right here. See, she backs up. Come on, baby. She's stall sour. She's stall sour. It's all on her terms. Now, this old fat bastard, he's getting ridden today on that new, that new saddle. I haven't ridden that saddle yet. I rode him last night on my saddle. I got three sa I got I got saddles that are probably getting stolen at the nagging one over at the mistress. And I, I almost expect it because they're Christians. But anyway, here we are. I don't know, it's 5 30, 6 o'clock. Have a beer. I'm in Mexico. Gonna feed that Philly. Put this new saddle on Reno. Anyway, hey, about the haircut and the and the stuff. I lost all my I lost it all. They uh my buddy got married to his buddy's girlfriend. Oh yeah, he fell in love immediately. Hormones. Let me let's talk a little bit about hormones. They're all different. And let me tell you something, if you're 60 years old and you haven't taken care of yourself, you ain't getting an erection. You ain't getting an erection. So if you have to buy a pill or take medicine to get an erection, to go get a whore, you're probably not my friend. You're probably not my friend. I can't be around those that, those people because that's perversion. That's a perverted fucking mess. Anyway, about the hairdo. Hey, um, it's still a forehead, right? Four, four fingers on my head. It's still a forehead, but we'll call it an eight head. And uh, look at her. She'll let me touch her. Nope. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep her because I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn her around, and show everybody that I'm not partial, and I'm not mean, and I've got a good grasp on horses. But this little girl is box stall spoiled. If I was to put a rope, bring a rope or a halter out here, she wouldn't even let me touch her. Look at her. 
She's such a loving little girl. She ain't, she is no good to me, but she's good to somebody. And I'll go ahead and break her. I've been pressured to sell her. I thought about slaughtering her and just eating her. Just look at that. Man, there's good steaks there. She's gentle. She doesn't kick. She doesn't bite. She doesn't jump on you. She just wants nothing to do with me. Watch this. Oh, see? You put the slightest pressure to her, and she says, Oh, no, I can't do it. I'm not going to. So get the fuck out of here. I can, I can round pender and straighten that out. And I'm not saying beat them. Anyway, back to the haircut. You know what? I saved enough on haircuts. They're overrated anyway. But it was a judgment. It was a test of judgment. You know, I quit going to the minor club. I'll tell you why. Because after spending $200 last weekend there, and I contribute and everything, and I tip and everything, they said, oh, this is our, our, this is our, uh, our neighborhood fucking crazy. Really? Really? You're 300 fucking pounds and you're calling me crazy? <laughs> How about the gut controls the mind? Now I've got, I can pinch, I can pinch a little fat here. But I don't do sit-ups either. I really don't. In fact, I don't even work out anymore. I had it all and I can't work out. I can't do anything in this position. I can't. All my tools may be stolen in Cedarville by a, by a gal that promised she would help me. That was all. I wanted to stay there until I found a job, let's say in uh, Lakeview or Klamath Falls. And I spent 2,000 miles going back and forth trying to find a job and a place to stay place to live where I can bring my horses. I'm not going somewhere where I can't bring my horses and my dog. I'm not going to. Look at her. See? Can you see her? Look at her. She's the kindest little thing. But you try to put any pressure on her, she's out of here. And this is the first this is the first time this is the first time that she's let me even touch her. And look at this. I can pull on her tail. Look at that. She don't kick or nothing. But this ain't where I want to be. And back to the haircut. I saved enough money on this haircut, on this lack of haircut, to buy a brand new 10X beaver hat. I've wanted one my whole life. I used to work as a kid cowboying with Bob Broderick out of Scappoose, Oregon. Child abuse. It was total child abuse. I remember him and Terry Harms. Terry was sitting next to him. She was thinking he was the all-around cowboy and he was a good cowboy. And she said, what's Vern get out of this? She said, he said, oh, he likes working for free. Uh, what about a pair of Tony Llama boots? You know, back in the day, Tony Llama were the boots to have. And if you, you know, he offered once for me to, to go to rodeo school. How about a little support from the family? We couldn't get that because, frankly, there was no room for support. It was 100% survival mode. But anyway, enough of that. Here I am, out here in the desert. It's a desolate. It's a desolate situation. I'd probably end up keeping this little filly because uh, I, uh, I got a gal with her name on it, you know? She'd be a great woman's horse. I really think she would. You know, they don't often ride. They ride a little bit here and stuff. But, I've got to, I've got to start her all over. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're putting a new saddle on Reno. And uh, I'll tell you what, this here 
was made in Bishop. I can't think of the name. Uh, C.L. Dennis, Bishop, California, right there. Anyway, it's, it hasn't been used much. It's a little dry because it's so goddamn hot here. But anyway, Reno's going to get her today, this evening. And uh, it's all going forward because nothing else is. Anyway, from my heart to yours, much love. My hat in the, the $400 bit, or I think it's $400, I can't remember. Uh, I've still got equipment to buy. I've got to buy some headsets. I've got to buy, I bought a, a cricket snaffle bit for Reno. You know, I ride Reno in a, a halter, and I want to go to a basal. Bosal, Bosal, Creek, Crick, Possum, Opossum, Potato, Tomato, Peter and Paul. What the fuck? Who cares? Anyway, I'll get cleaned up one day. And I'll be back in my game. But, uh, everything's good. I'm looking over there. Uh, they want this horse. They want freckles. They can't even take care of the ones they have. Anyway, that's their business. You know what? Good trainers, you know what they say? <clears throat> bring me your, bring me your damaged child. And, uh, don't come back till I tell you, till I call you. Let me tell you why. Let's see they're getting hay. And let me tell you why. It's because <clears throat> it's just like abused children. When you when you fuck up your kid and you take them in because you can't handle them, how about stay back and let somebody else handle them? Anyway. They're checking me out. They're checking me out over there. I'm not into horse rescue. I've never seen a positive thing with horse rescue. Anyway. Enough of all this from my heart to yours. Much love, Modoc out.